Hey guys, today we are going to be making some some custom foot plates for the S15. As you can see the driver side there, put some pedals in just to um, get an idea of where my heel is going to be. And then this side, obviously you've got that lump here where the exhaust goes through. So um, this is going to be a bit different to do, but uh, let's get to it. We're going to start by chucking a bit of this down, roughly the shape where it needs to be, missing this. And what we are going to do is put some spacer type things. These are about 12 mil, just some tiles I got knocking about because we don't want the plate directly on here. We're going to be raising it up a touch. So obviously the doesn't matter too much on this side, <clears throat> but obviously when you remove the carpet, the carpet's got a bit of sound deadening, so you are dropping the height of where your feet are. Obviously passenger side doesn't matter, driver side it does, because you don't want your feet too low on the pedals. So I've got this here. So what we got also is some card. <clears throat> I'm basically going to take a few measurements, uh, get this roughly in here, and then we can start um, making adjustments then to get it tightly fitted. Okay. We'll measure these roughly, obviously longer than we need them because uh, it's easier to reduce it. Okay, so we've got the rough shape out, length and, and width-wise. So, so we'll line it up to this, and what we need to do now is to mark here, um, just to notch where the footplate is for the roll cage. come in 15 mil. Right, not that, I've done rounded the edges nice with just a lid of a um, small little Loctite just to get a nice round radius on it. So that slots in lovely around the cage, nice and tight here, which is what we're after. So we need to do now is to take some other points so what I do is use the pencil as a flat edge because it sits flat on the tile here and then I'll just mark that out there. See, it goes to my original line. So now I've got that contour should meet lovely against this uh, raised part. As long as nothing moves, we should be able to get an idea. So what I'm going to do is cut this bit first, and then we can work out where we are with this bit, just to get a bit closer and nip that off then. So by using, as you can see the little marks there, your flat edge, keep going like that and it'll leave that level mark of where you need to cut. So we follow this around to you. So what we need to do now, it's, it's flat-ish, but it's, um, 
basically just using this method and then it, it, it literally just leaves you the line where you need to cut so it's pretty pretty simple just, just take your time with it um, and obviously don't cut too much so I'm gonna do this in bits because it all starts crumpling up otherwise so I'll chop that off refit it and uh, We'll keep going. So basically, I'll show you now when this part is done, and then we'll um, we'll jump ahead then to show you what design ideas I got for this. So this is what we're left with a minute. So um, as you can see, corner that's okay to be sharp. But I might round these off. Not that you're going to see them because I think that'll just be catching under the seat. Um, but like these, I'm going to round that off, um, possibly that in this corner, just to the less pointy, but that's it basically, so we made a separate bit, um, this part, I, I don't think your feet are going to reach you with um, where the seat is actually going to be, but I think visually um, it looks better to block that off, because uh, that doesn't look the best, even when it's painted black. Um, you're not really going to see it, but I don't like the, the pedal boxes that sit here um, because my thought on that is any pickup of your shoes or whatever, it's just going to collect rubbish and, and bits back you. I think with that, um, it's a bit of a better finish and it covers people, you know, if I take passengers out and somebody's six foot or something then their feet are down there and we're not going to rub any paint off so what i'm going to do is duct tape this together so we've got that connected and then i'm going to jump ahead and show you the driver's side and then we'll fall back on this um, to plan out what i'm going to do visually with this so i'll just show you what i'm doing with this little piece here and um, basically where I want the edges rounded, just find yourself like a little cap or whatever radius that you'd like the bend. And then what I'm doing then is literally just placing it there, tracing that around, and obviously you've got a nice curve. So I'm gonna try and do this to all of these to smooth it out. So, you can see that's a lot smoother, more flowing, rather than having sharp edges and it just looks a bit, uh, with less thoughts got into it. So, here's the two. This is the driver's one. As you can see, I've yet to do it to this one. I've got to add a small piece there, just an upturn, just like this, and then that will be at one mounting point into the side of the inner sill. So what we've got here is the center lines are all measured. So that is gonna be where my actual heels are going. And then these are gonna be uh, dimpled eyes. And then we're gonna have something pretty cool there. So I'm just gonna replicate this on you. You can see the line in the floor, so they should be all symmetrical, obviously, other than the different shape because the floor pans are different. And uh, yeah, we'll replicate this across here, and then we'll get on to the next stage. Mega quick time, which was, as always, to be expected by Huxley. So let's show you this. Oh, this is the driver's side. So bear in mind, I literally sent him bits of cardboard in the post uh, of my design, and then this is where we are. So just need to do just a tiny bit of clearance here, just so it sits flat, because it's a little bit off my spacers. Um, <clears throat> same the other side. There is this rib, so we need to notch that, and then they should sit perfect. 
So we're going to try with a uh, carbon burr, just to nibble this off. Same with the, the driver's side. Okay, so we've got all of these marked and punched out. We've drilled the inner sill mounting points. So just gonna punch all these through now and then we can drill them out to the correct size. up to the next size now um, and then jump ahead and do the other one. So what we've done now with the holes that we've drilled for the inner cell, we've marked them so we are going to punch them, drill these first and then we can use that then as a baseline for mounting the rest. This is the final size for the rivets then. Okay, these should go in like that. So I'll get the rivet tool now, put these in, and then we can work out the rest of the holes. We're using M5 rivets for these. Also handy little Silver line and deburring tool just so they mount absolutely flat. Very handy little thing. Okay. Okay, that's those in. We can chuck this back now. And hopefully we'll have to find something um, long to mark through the holes onto the car. That's 
one in. So we're going to put the other two bolts in now. Um, and I'll mark these through and then I'll show you the end result. So that is them all drilled in, riv nutted and mounted up properly. So the only thing I need to collect now um, is little spacers because obviously I'm not keeping tiles underneath there. But uh, yeah, once those are spaced up now, job done, sorted. So what we are going to do with these is we are going to get a coat in put on them because I'm not going to keep them um, just raw alley. So I will send these off and when they get back we will do a fully finished reveal of these to see how they look. Hey guys, so we are back in the garage after picking up the foot plates and this is how they've turned out. Here they are. So, I don't know if you can see, they got a very mild wrinkle on them for a tiny bit of grip. Obviously, I haven't bolted them down yet because they're just placed in here for now before we paint it. So, a nice little quick video on how you can make things yourself, cuts down on a little bit of cost. Um, obviously, you can just send them away then and have someone else fab them off your designs. So, hopefully that helps anyone looking to do the same as this or any other little fab projects. So, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll catch you on the next one.